Welcome everyone to Tempe, Arizona and Mountain America Stadium. Home to the Arizona State Sun Devils, where Sparky and his gang have been sharpening those pitchforks in anticipation of this one. What a showdown we have in store. A couple of Big 12 teams squaring off in what could prove to be a huge game. As we'll see, the UCF Knights taking on the Arizona State Sun Devils. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Sun Devils will put total leather to crank us up. He'll bring it out. It's Montgomery. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Knights' offense will take the first swing of the game. And here he is, one of the best receivers in the game, and he just commands attention both from the defense and from the fans. Yeah, he's a guy you got to keep your eye on, and you're going to see him line up all over the field in this game. He can play in the slot. He can play out wide. He can run the entire gamut in the route tree as well. Really nothing this guy can't do. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. It'll be a draw. Sweet Pete on the move. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy on the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. It, what could have been set up in a long yardage situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him on the ground. Well, jet sweep pass. He breaks a tackle. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. Man, this guy is exciting to watch. When he has the ball in his hands, he can make magic happen. They're going to throw it to him. They're going to hand it off to him. They're going to get him the ball in a variety of ways, and they're doing it early in this game. The Knights want to move quickly. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. That was an eyelash away from being picked off, and that is not the way to set the tone with a near pick on your opening drive. Yeah, and I, I don't know what happened. He didn't look open as it is, and the QB's trying to make a play, trying to force the ball, but at least he threw it where his guy could catch it or nobody could catch it. On the run, it's Harvey. They could have used a little bit more there. Pick up a three. It's third and seven. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. From the gun, give on the inside. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Knights will line up to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Sun Devils offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Good vision and determination there to find his way up to the 23. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. That kind of pickup on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. Looking to the big tight end. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. 
That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. And you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. You got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. The Sun Devils will have it first and 10. They're going to ride this running back. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Got three on first down at second and seven. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. That's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll stick to the ground, looking for the marker. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Man, how fast did they get in there and make that tackle for a loss? If you blinked, you missed it. Nice job by the defense getting penetration. Everybody up near the line of scrimmage, shooting the gaps quick, getting in the backfield, getting the guy on the ground. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. He'll start this drive firing. Zings it complete to the right. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. In college football, you see this a ton now. You use a quick passing game, basically as the running game. Get a few yards, get your offense ahead of the sticks, keeps it on pace for success. The Knights will hustle through the line. To the air, it's Jefferson. The sweet feet by a little time. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. The number one job is to protect your quarterback, and they weren't able to do it long enough that time. This offensive line, Reese, they've got to do a better job communicating pre-snap and try and figure out which people on defense are going to be rushing the passer. Right now, this offense just looks confused up front. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Pressure in his face, and he lets it fly. Yeah, this offense might want to think about moving the launch point for this QB, because if you take hits like that from the pocket, it's really tough to complete passes. The Knights will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fair catch called for and made. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. Trying to find his man on first down. Caught behind the line. It's Scatterboat. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and I got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. Using his legs, it's Scatterbolt. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Just shy of midfield at the 47. The defense needs a third down stop. They'll try to get the first through the air. Working the middle, it's complete. 
Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And it's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the run. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. I like offenses being creative. I'm not sure if that was the best place to call that play. I think this offense needs to think about just doing things a little bit more by the book. They've got a lot of good playmakers. You don't have to reinvent the wheel this early in the game. On second down, he'll let it fly. Got his man on the right. Gets him down at the 30 after a 15-yard pickup. They are threatening, and they have a first down. Excellent throw by the quarterback. Found the window between the zones, and then delivered the ball on time. And the Sun Devils want to pick up the tempo. Of the gun the running back has it nose is ahead to the 30-yard line to pick up of one didn't get much on first down it's second and nine off play action throws to the wide out he's got an open man Touchdown, Sun Devils! A great catch and run for six. It was a really nice job on the route concept because they got the safety occupied, which opened up the deep middle of the field for the receiver on the post. He uses his speed. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it out in front of him. He makes the catch and then runs it into the end zone. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. That drive covers 62 yards for the touchdown. And they finish it up with the final 30 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? Toss to the outside. Keeps the legs moving. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. They just can't do it better. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. To the air. It's Jefferson. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now, and you expect him to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Sends it downfield. He's got it down the left side. Just gashing this defense, a big gainer to the 40-yard line. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. The Knights headed quickly to the line. Pulls and fires complete. 
And they pick up just a few on that completion. Ooh, and that was close for the offense. They try to go wide receiver screen. They're counting on that receiver, beating that defender. Wasn't able to make a miss that time, but if I'm on offense, I'm going back to that play later. No huddle here for the offense. And off from the shotgun. Aaron is trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table. Everything's available. High success rate. Third and short coming from the 34. You wonder if this is four down territory. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. Now it looks as if they'll settle for the field goal try. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. No good. And they couldn't cut into the lead. It's still a seven-point game. and the offense making its way onto the field. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll run play action. Throws to the tight end. It's complete. They got him free for a big gainer to the 43. And how about this tight end finding that soft spot after the play action froze him? It's tough to do sometimes for these tight ends to kind of find zone defense and find the areas they need to work and make sure that they've got that communication with the QB. But these two right now are on the same page. Quick release by the QB. He stopped at the 32, picks up 10 on the play, and gets the first down. Great job by the quarterback there. He saw the safety bite on the run fake. So as the safety comes running downhill, he now knows he has the slant throw to his receiver on the outside. The Sun Devils have it with a first and 10. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. They make the stop as he gets it inside the 30 to the 28, a gain of four. Solid pickup of four on first down and second and six. Power football with the run. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. And listen, the offensive line has to do their job, but a really good job by the running back, understanding where his hole is. Go hit it, get the first down, don't mess around. Nice job following his hole, getting positive yards. Just inside the red zone, first and 10 from the 19. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. A shot toward the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And that's just a huge miss opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another clean look like that in the rest of this game. Sixth play of the drive coming up. Quick completion to the right. Touchdown, Arizona State! What a grab and go for the score. These two have spent plenty of time together. That was almost telepathic, David. No doubt, and quarterbacks and wide receivers throw all offseason to get on the same page. You can see he hits him in stride. That's why he gets the touchdown.
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 14-0. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score. And the capper, a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. Looking to throw, it's Jefferson. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. The Knights come to the line in the hurry up. Got the first down, looking for more. And after a nice game, the runner just scoots out of bounds. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on a defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. From the gun, the ground game. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. Pulls and fired complete. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. And watch the offensive line here. They all block run. Because they're blocking run, the quarterback decides, oh, I got a favorable matchup. He dumps it out to the right makes the right read, gets a nice positive game. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Using his legs to buy some time. And he tries to get away, but he cannot. He's taken down. He'll lose a couple. And come on now, O-line. You've got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one to get you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. You've got to keep him upright. That is your number one priority. They'll run it from the gun. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. The Knights are in the hurry up. Rides to the back. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short.
And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. He'll have to generate power and some accuracy. A 50-yarder from the left hash. He boomed it through. A 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. Well, you're always going to wonder what would have, could have, should have happened on fourth and inches had they gone for it. But with this kicker, I like taking three points and putting it on the board. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard game. Got three on first down at second and seven. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to it. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. This is a good sign for this defense. The rate they were going, not touching the quarterback, him already having two touchdown passes in the first half, this was not going to be a fun football game to watch. Now they're turning the tide a little bit, getting a little bit of pressure, getting a sack. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. A little screen to the running back. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous and you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. And the Sun Devils will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. The UCF offense back on the field ready to go to work. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. Comes out throwing on first down. Complete to the right. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. Nice route there by the tight end, making it real easy for his quarterback to find an easy completion. The Knights moving quickly to the line. He'll come out throwing on first down. Finds his tight end. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Oh, that just really nice catch by the big tight end. Throwing those mitts up there, catching the football. They'll try to snap it quickly. Holds and fires complete to the right. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game. They pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that. Ball's at the 22. Third and short coming. Can the defense force him to settle for a field goal? Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. 
And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. I mean, good news here. They get the completion. Bad news, though, not enough to pick up the first down. The target there, he's got to do a better job understanding where the first down marker is. Make sure he gets the right depth on his route. Now, all of a sudden, head coach has a big decision. To make. Right down the boulevard, it's good. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense making its way onto the field. The give to the running back from the shotgun. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. They finally make the stop of the big run. He's plenty to move those sticks for the first down. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. From the shotgun, they'll run it. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position, it's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. Trying to surprise him with the pass. Unloads it left. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Touchdown, Sun Devils! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Wait, Ken, can I get the director to give me a replay of that? I want to count the defenders at one, two, three. I mean, there's no way they had 11, right? I mean, that, that is frustrating. Defensively, what are you talking Like, make them earn it, right? Play, play man, press up on them, make them earn it, make them go the length of the field, don't give up big plays, or just give up big plays and don't have anybody in the camera shot and don't have anybody there to even miss a tackle. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they move on top by 15. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes courtesy of the big play, covering 61 yards on the touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? And the returner is stopped. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? It's always great to get points on a drive, but it would behoove them to try to get a touchdown this time around, Palmer. They may have to get out of their comfort zone here too, David, a little bit and just start being more aggressive and take some chances, but that's what's going to have to happen for them to win this game. Yeah, and when you're losing, obviously everything gets heightened. Everything becomes more critical. This drive is crucial because we've got to cut into this deficit and put some points on the board. From the gun, running back gets the give. Ran to that daylight to pick up six to the 22. 
And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. The Knights want to crank the tempo. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. The Knights will bring the punt team onto the field. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. He'll do it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, he couldn't find any running room at all, and he'll end up taking a loss on the play. Yeah, great discipline on defense, too, because if you're going to stop the option, you have to play assignment football. Everybody doing their job. There was just nowhere to go there for the QB. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. He was not going to be denied, discarding tacklers, running behind his pads, and finally down at the 40. Well, nice completion there, finding the tight end. And what's so beautiful about that is while they didn't get the first, they were able to pick up enough yards now to make the third down manageable, really putting this offense in a good position. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. Big third down conversion, getting the ball to your running back, and he does the rest. This guy, I think, will get a lot more touches. And you want to know why he's on the field on third down? Because he can block, he can catch the ball, and you can also hand it off to him, and he can go find the sticks and keep drives alive. What a weapon. They'll give it to him again. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Great play by the defense there. And listen, they got to do more of this. Running backs obviously had a lot of success. They got to continue to stop this run game, be physical, and not let this guy beat him. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. He looks that one in nicely. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down marker? Why did you run your route short? Defense did a good job knowing where that was, but now fourth down, offense has to make a decision. And they stop the fourth down pass. The defense gets off the field. A first down for the offense. He's going to pass. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Harvey. The defense wouldn't let him loose there. And it was a completion, but they lost yardage. You know, as a quarterback, you believe in your matchup. And in my running back, if I can get him the ball in space, he's going to win a lot of times. He didn't that time. The defense was ready. Nice job in the open field making the nice tackle. The Knights racing to the line in the hurry up. Motion from the offense. To the air. It's Jefferson. Throws for the tight end. He's got it. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are and they work with their quarterback and they find them and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays.
from the shotgun, the handoff to the back. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Klein getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Got his man. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. Yeah, and when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in that slot position. A third down play coming from the 32 as they try to keep the drive going. Buying some time. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. This quarterback doing a lot of good decision-making on that last play. First off, nice job extending, but then understanding what the coverage was, understanding nobody's open, and then going, hey, look, I can go get this myself, and finally, not only am I going to get this first down, I'm going to take care of myself, too. I'm going to slide. I practiced this all week. A little baseball slide action. We got a fresh set of beans. Good, wide open, big play opportunity. Hits him right between the numbers. you got to make that play. Those are one of those where I... I tap my helmet like, dude, that, that was me. That was all me. My bad. Give me another opportunity later on. After the incompletion, they're facing a second and 10 from the 25. Looking to throw at Jefferson. This time it's complete. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Good play by the defense. Way to wrap them up. Way to know where the sticks are. Now puts you in a successful position for third down. Now you can break out the fun packages, the blitzes, putting more speed, more little fast guys on the field. Already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. Fires deep toward the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, UCF. Well, he put that right where his guy was the only one that could catch it, didn't he? Yeah, great accuracy. And this is one of those throws that the fade route, you can throw it anywhere on the field, anytime. QBs warm up with this route, for goodness sakes. They always know how to throw. It's one of the first routes you learn to throw as a quarterback. On to attempt the try. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. So that's a 59-yard touchdown drive. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. Just about set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. To the air on first down. Gets it out fast. Guys, it's been an entertaining first half, and not a lot of time left to put some more points on the board. No, but you got this possession right here to maybe go into the half tied up. So good first half, but a great way, Jesse, to end this first half. Yeah, you'd love to take that momentum into the second half. And listen, this offense practices two minute every single week for this exact situation. There he goes down the right side. Pass the 10. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. This offense has been running up and down the field, and here they are, first and goal, a chance to tack on another one before halftime. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. 
And on that situation on the one yard line, the defense brings so many guys. Palmer gets in the backfield, creates the negative play. Yeah, I think we're seeing the overall athleticism of this defense. They've got guys flying to the ball. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. Sometimes as a quarterback, when you're feeling a rhythm and you're feeling yourself, you just want to keep taking shots, right? This guy's already thrown three touchdown passes. He saw a look he liked, decided to let her fly. I haven't seen a lot of balls fall incomplete, especially deep down the field. That one did, but I'd expect this guy to keep letting it go. Needs to get it in the end zone on third and goal. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Well, that last incompletion is a good example of why your timing has to be so good as a quarterback because the windows, they open and they close so quickly in this part of the field. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. And he'll try it from the right. Hash and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. And it's right down the boulevard. And that will extend their lead even further. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. To the ground with the back. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Looking for a man. It's Jefferson. He finds his man. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. One more snap coming before halftime. He wants to throw. Under heavy pressure, lets it fly. Incomplete. He took a shot on the final play of the quarter and couldn't quite find his man. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who's got a better seat there today in Tempe than you do? The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower, and these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to Frank Cush Field inside Mountain America Stadium. The Knights will line up to kick off and start the second half. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. First play from scrimmage here in the second half, and they'll keep it on the ground. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Right back to it. Solid run. Picks up six and gets it to the 28. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. As an offense, you've got the lead. You've had success running the football. You hope that this play is just the blip because you know you're going to have to lean on your bell cow running back to ice this game and close it out. The Sun Devils send out the punt unit. He'll try to really get into this one.
He gets a block. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. Give to the running back. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. The Knights in the hurry up. Dropping back, it's Jefferson. Gets it out quickly. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. you got to give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. Just nosing into enemy territory at the 49. It's first and 10. Looking for a crease, it's Harvey. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. A lot of urgency for this offense. Running back searching for a hole. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. The Knights decide to punt it away. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Man, it didn't take long for the defense to get home on that play. You see them playing man coverage in the back end, slowing down the routes from the receivers and the rest of the offense. That forced the quarterback to have to hold on to it for just a split second longer, and they were able to get the sack. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Getting some heat. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. You got to give the defense tons of credit because we know how much speed this quarterback has. That time you saw the pursuit. They were able to bring him down for a big loss on the sack. And the Sun Devils will send out the punt unit. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Fields the punt. Wants to make a play. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game.
Saints want to move quickly. Looking downfield, it's Jefferson. Fires to the big fella. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short gain. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100% zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. Big third down here. They need to get the ball to the 41. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. And on that third down play, there just wasn't any timing between the quarterback as an intended target. As a result, ball falls incomplete, setting up fourth. The Knights line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. Wide out in motion. He's looking to throw it. Got his man quickly. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now, when I'm a wide receiver, I got to make sure I know I fit in the hole between these zones. I know where they're dropping to, and I know where I need to get to. Great job by the wide receiver finding that hole and the quarterback throwing a strike. Looking to go up top on first down. Quick strike complete. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. I tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. The offense sets up chop at the 46 on first down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He'll pull it on the read. Picks up the first down, still moving. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. I love wide receivers that want to get involved in the running game. It's not enough today in college football to want to catch the ball. you got to be able and willing to run down the field and block somebody as well. And you saw it right there in that QB run. The Sun Devils will line it up on first and ten. The give to the lone running back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Leaves it with the back. Finds just enough room to pick up a couple down to the 26. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Works the middle of the field. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Man, and that's just making it way too easy on the defense. They're laughing at that short throw. They're like, really? Okay, we'll just make an easy tackle and jog our punt return team out on the field. You're going to make it that easy for us. Fourth down in inches, and you go read any book you want to, any analytical measure, and it will tell you, go for it. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. Offense getting set for first down. The run from the shotgun. Nice move to pick up yardage. will hustle through the line.
back to pass. It's Jefferson. He makes the connection. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Fires left. It's caught downfield. He's off to the races. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. After giving up that big shot defensively, how confident are you calling that coverage again? You're now on your own end of the field, and now your backs are against the wall. The entire complexion of this possession changed on that one play. Now they've got it first and 10 inside the 20. Looking for room, it's Harvey. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. The handoff as they run the counter play here. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. And now a big third down coming up. Down multiple possessions. This is one, Palmer, I'm looking for six. I'm not trying to kick a field goal. I want to cut into this lead with a touchdown. No, you got to have it. And also, considering all of that, this is four down territory, too. So you need to identify who are your best players on offense and how can you give them. Touchdown, Knights! And the comeback is on. And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it. He put his foot in the ground. And that was Pater. Now they'll try the two-point conversion and try to crawl within three. The give. He's in there for the two-point conversion, and now they're within a field goal. So that scoring drive took only six plays, and they closed the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. All right, this running back's had all kind of success. Now we're getting later in the game. We've got to make sure we get some stops, get the ball back to our offense. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He'll keep it himself. Several defenders there to get him on the ground. A really smart pull and run by that quarterback. Wherever your eyes are supposed to be for you to do the read option, put your eyes there. If he comes aggressively, boom, I pull that football, I run down the field and make big plays. So it's, it's as simple as that. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's that simple. Put your eyes where they belong. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. Well, in the first half, this offense was up and down the field. It seemed like everything they were dialing up was working. And here we are in the third quarter, and there's a very rare incompletion on their own end of the field. Maybe that's the play the defense needs now to spark some momentum. And the Sun Devils will call on their punt team. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Makes a move. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. The UCF offense back on the field ready to go to work. 
They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to take the lead in this football game. So they got to be feeling good. They did their part, score your defense, does your part, Jesse. This offense, keep that momentum. I would say stay aggressive here. And just keep doing what you were doing on that last drive, right? Well, whatever was working for you, just go back. Keep using those same playmakers to allow you to go down here and score a touchdown. Looking downfield, it's Jefferson. He's going to let one fly down the middle. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. And what a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. Well, the receiver was double covered on that play, and I don't know if the decision by the QB had to do with the pressure. Because he was hurried, he just had to get rid of that faster than he wanted to. He's lucky he didn't come away with an interception. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. From the gun, the running back has it. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. The Knights will try to pin them back with the punt. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Fair catch called for and made around the 20-yard line. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. They'll throw it on first down. Makes the catch and steps out of bounds, but short of the first down mark. And on that outbreaking route, really it's designed for the receiver to make the catch before falling out of bounds. Nice timing and anticipation by the quarterback on that throw. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. They'll try the right side. Thrust that arm out. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. the play fake coming after it and the quarterback is snowed under And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. A third and long coming up here. Looking to throw and he needs a bunch. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Defense has been looking so good on this drive so far. They already set up third and long, and now they take all the throws away down the field. Great job in coverage. Great job reading the QB's eyes. So there's nowhere for him to go with it. He's got to throw it away. The Sun Devils will line up to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. He's got it. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. UCF has it once again. What do you think about that? They'll give it to the back. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. The Knights want to pick up the tempo. Movement here from the tight end. 
Now the play fake. Got it behind the line. It's Pittman. No huddle offense to the line. Wants to throw. It's Jefferson. Fires and picked off. Got some room to run. He's out of bounds, showing off the hands on the pick and then the nifty moves on a terrific return. Well, the defense comes away with the pick there with their nickel personnel. I think moving forward, if you're on offense, when you see that personnel on the field, you want to run the ball against it because you've got smaller guys out there. Or if you're going to throw, think about quick screens outside when you have tight ends flexed on the perimeter, bigger bodies blocking smaller guys. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. You get field position like this, and you're not likely to punt the way they did the last time they had the ball. Yeah, great job by the defense, setting them up in an opportunity to get some points on the board quickly. This is an opportunity you've got to capitalize on this field position. You must come away with points here if you're on offense. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. And the Sun Devils are threatening in the red zone. Looking to throw on second down. He's got his man. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Now, and a great job by the defense seeing it right away. Reacting to the screen. Going and getting the football. And getting the fast playmaker on the ground. Trying to pick up a first down. Bully ball on third and short. The Sun Devils pick up the first down. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. They're getting this guy lathered up. They'll give him four yards on the carry. It's down at the eight-yard line. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Oh, he drops it right down the middle of the field, and he couldn't make the play. They're trying to get the receiver on a drag route and work him through all the bodies in traffic, but there's just too much happening. I don't think he saw the throw real well, and it falls incomplete. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. From the gun, wants to pass. Let's it go to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Arizona State. And that's what I love about empty sets and formations on offense, is that when you spread the defense out, you create bigger lanes to throw into. You saw it right there. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Now the UCF offense ready to go back to work. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drive. The Knights headed quickly to the line. It's
It's a draw. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Wide receiver coming across in motion. To throw, it's Jefferson. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. You know, that's a throw in the drag route where you just got to have patience. You got to let your wide receiver clear through all the bodies in the middle of the field. They just couldn't hook up on that one. Second and ten here. He's looking to throw right down the middle. Complete downfield. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. They've got the weapons to stay aggressive. He just made a big play. Let's see if we can take a shot here into the end zone, score, and try to save as much time on the clock as we can. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. The Knights have their offense in high gear. The give on the inside. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. I tell you what, with this kind of success on the ground, I, I think you two knuckleheads could call plays. I mean, that's how easy it is for this offense right now. They got the ground game working. It's really easy. Now you can open up for other things, but you guys could even try your hand because they're dominating right now. Trying to find his man on first down. Catch in the middle. It's Pittman. Stop just inside the 25. We'll mark it at the 24. Pick up of 10 and a first down. Yeah, and I love running my tight ends across the formation. Just big targets that I can find a way to get the football to. Nice snag. Nice little positive game for my offense. The Knights will have it first and 10. They'll try the counter. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They tried to get the defense going the wrong way with the counter, but nothing doing. Aggressive defense, attacking defense. You want to hit them with those counters, but it wasn't successful in this play. Defensive line, linebackers, everybody's dialed in. They see what's going on. They diagnose it, go downhill, hit them right in the middle of the field. Looking for a man. It's Jefferson. Zings it complete to the right. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Well, the drag routes put in this playbook to fight against man-to-man -man coverage. So there you see the receiver using his speed, working his way across the field. He gets separation on the DB, trying to trail him, makes the catch, turns it upfield for the first. The Knights come to the line in the hurry-up. The play-action fake. Looking to the big tight end. He caught it! Touchdown, UCF! A Lazarus-like comeback is underway. That big score makes the end of this game very interesting. No doubt the offense got what they needed. More work to do, but you had to get this part accomplished first. Lining up for the PAT. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive. And the score comes on a 17-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. They're going to test that run defense to the right here. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21.
after picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Well, things have gone pretty well so far, right? You've got the lead, you're playing at home, it's late, and you just need a few more of these completions to ice the game. That time, couldn't come away with it. It's a nice play by the defender, knocking it down. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Fast motion from the offense. They'll throw it on first down. He's right on target. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Pulls it and fires to the left. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Great effort by the defense here. Offense trying to go wide receiver screen. How about the speed on defense rounding to the football? Now staring at a third and short from the 40. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments and find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. The UCF offense back on the field, ready to go to work. This is a game of swings and momentum and a great opportunity here after scoring on the last drive, getting a stop, and now you have the football back. They're playing well right now in all three phases, and they're complementing each other. So now, David, it's up to the offense here. It's up to this quarterback to lead this offense down the field to get a score. Yeah, and to stay aggressive, to, to understand we've had success, we got this going the right way. Now I don't need to change anything. Go back to your go-to plays. That's now got you some momentum back in your favor. Right back to the well. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. The Knights are in the hurry up. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Takes the handoff. It's Harvey. At the 35, he's got room. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before. He makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. And running backs are so good, so talented, so elusive. You see nowadays, they really have the ability to make you miss, run you over. Unbelievable effort. Nice job. You keep that going, it will be hard to stop. The Knights come to the line with a new set of downs. Now he's looking to throw it. Fires to the middle. Makes the grab. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Well, this defense has tried to find ways to disguise their coverage and mix it up to try to confuse the QB. It's not working, though. With that last completion, he's now got over 300 yards passing. Now down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. Back to pass. It's Jefferson. 
Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Quarterback on the keeper. They could have used a little bit more there. Pick up a three. It's third and seven. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understanding, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Starting to feel a little pressure. Touchdown, Knights! They've got the lead here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up looking deep. And that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. Right back up top on second and ten. Snags it over the middle. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw? He had a little bit of time to throw. You can move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch, first down. Looking to move it through the air. Firing to the right, complete. Ripping off a pretty good chunk of yardage. They've got it out to the 41 with a first down. Well, that receiver, he knew he had to get his head turned around quickly. He's running the curl route against zone coverage, but he knows his quarterback is going to be firing that ball into him. It's a rocket pass. He's able to make the catch and get the first. Looking to move it through the air. The freshman just a little too much on that one. Well, the good news is he did a nice job reading the coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football that time. Just a little bit too much on that pass. You wonder if that's just nerves. He's got to settle himself down a little bit. After the misfire, now on second down. The aerial assault continues. Makes the grab over the middle. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. And I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football. Sees the wide receiver running the drag route, knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. The crowd is going to tell you the result of this one. They are into it on this huge third and three. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. He's got enough to move the chains, and they'll spot it at the 47. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. 
And the Sun Devils getting set on first and ten. He's going to pass. Grabbed in the middle. It's Smith. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Well, they don't pick up the first down there, but in this two-minute situation, they need their quarterback to be decisive, to be accurate, and make really good decisions. And we'll see what he's able to do as they inch closer and closer towards the goal line. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Right through his hand. You just have to make that catch, and it'll be third down. Yeah, and that's fine. Listen, it, it's go time, right? Now it's coming up on third down. You've probably got two downs anyways. It's the fourth quarter. It's time for this QB to take charge. This feels like four down territory, third and short from the 40. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Pocket starts to collapse. Chunked it away just as he was hit. And if you're the defense right now, you've given up some yards on this drive, but you've got a possession lead. You just need one more stop after that last incompletion setting up fourth down. Do you blitz? Do you try to speed up the QB? Let's find out and watch. The clock is relentlessly working against them. Down four. They'll go for it on fourth down. The completion well past the sticks. And he scoops out of bounds, picks up the first down, gets the clock stopped, and now they're in business in plus territory. Where's the defense on that last play? It's a two-minute situation. You've got the guy making the catch in the middle of the field. You've got to tackle him in bounds and keep this clock moving. Somehow they were able to let him get outside and stop the clock. That just can't happen. Got it in the middle. It's Smith. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Slant routes. They're good against man coverage, but they're good against zone coverage, too. If that receiver can find the soft spot between the linebacker and the DB, you'll take that throw all day. They'll run it. It's Scatabo. Got some room. Headed to the goal line. He steps out of bounds, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. And he gets it back to the four-yard line and no farther. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? He's looking to throw. Got it! Touchdown, Sun Devil! And they've got the lead in the final minute. Man, this game has been incredible to watch, and the offense comes through late in the game, takes the lead. What a clutch drive by this offense. Now, I'm looking at you, defense. You got the lead late in the game. I need you to go put this thing on ice and win it for me. Needs this one to push the lead to a field goal. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And the clutch late score that almost certainly will be the game winner. Coming out with it, it's Montgomery. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Trying to start the drive with a pass. It's complete to the right, and he'll be marked down right there, still short of the first down. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Back to throw, it's Jefferson. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Third and long, defense knows the pass is coming, so they're going to have guys with their eyes on the QB, but they are going to try to get to him with pressure, pinning their ears back. If you're on offense, you might be thinking blitz here. You better get rid of this one quick. 
Remember, all they have to do is get it close enough for a field goal here. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. He'll try to do it himself. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Wants to throw on first down. They're working that left side. Makes a grab and he's dragged down. Timeout call by the offense. 24 seconds left on the clock. He's trying to get them set quickly. They have to get the ball into field goal range. He's back to throw on second down. Pressure coming. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Great job in this two-minute drill as he gets out of bounds, keeping the clock on their side as they're trying to pull it out. And perfect situational awareness there. Get the first down. Don't get greedy. Stop the clock. Yeah, and that's why this team practices these types of two-minute situations all week long leading up to games so that everybody's on the same page. That receiver did an awesome job getting out of bounds to try to preserve as much clock as possible. This kicker is going to need nerves of steel on this one. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. Under 60 seconds to go, and we are all tied up. Man, that is a massive field goal. So much pressure on him with just a couple seconds left here in the game. He knocks it through the uprights. It looks like this thing's going into overtime as long as your defense is not completely screwed this thing. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. First play of the drive comes from the 22. Looking for a gap, it's scattable. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Four quarters, not enough to settle this one. We are headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football, Jesse? Yeah, I love this, David. Free football and finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first, to, to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Paul. We're like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays back and forth. Who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. And that RPO play was run to perfection. The run fake forced and sucked the defense up and a nice job on the route by the receiver, not telegraphing that he was breaking to the inside on the slant. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. That pass is incomplete and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. The offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time, getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. Couldn't find his man last time. Now they'll have to convert third and four. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man in the middle. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Ooh, boy, this freshman quarterback has a host, and he's seen that thing in there. Not much of a secret who they were looking to, but doing something about it is a major problem. It's so hard to stop on these third downs. You think about it, he can block, and then he can go deep. He can release, you know, intermediate. The tight ends are so valuable in today's football, and especially in the red area. They find him, and they get the first down. Mark it off as a six-yard gain down to the six-yard line. And at this point of the game, you just got to wonder if the defense is getting tired. Here in OT, they just don't seem to have the punch up front that, like they had earlier in the game, and they're just playing on their heels. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Going to run it. It's scattable. 
He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll throw on third and short. If he houses this, it's ball game. They bring him down, but that great defensive play might be overturned. Let's see what the call is. Oh, man. Thought he had the interception, but the official rules gain too much of an advantage. So wave off the turnover and give up the yardage. It'll be first down. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. They'll try it again from the one on second and goal. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, and you see the sense of urgency now going up, right, David, on defense here, creating a negative play with their backs up against the wall. Everybody's selling out to stop the run. Nice job being aggressive by this defense. The defense has made it tough, but they'll try to pile their way in here on third and goal in overtime. Slams ahead. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still just a very short game. Yeah, the defense just too good there. They're trying to run it in on third down and be physical up front. The defense, though, having none of it, creating a negative play and now setting up fourth down. They'll try to put three on the board and take the lead in overtime. It's good. And with that, they've taken the lead. Down by three, it's their turn here in overtime. A touchdown will win it. Here's first down. Going up top on first down. Makes the catch. It's Hudson. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. have taken it inside the 20. They go to the ground. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one play. After picking up this first down on the ground, let's see what they do. To the ground. He's got it again. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. The give to the back. Fighting off the defender. Not much running room. He's got one down to the 12. Let's see what they have on third down as they want to make sure they keep this in makeable field goal range. Back to throw. It's Jefferson. Finds his big tight end. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. Right there, I think you need a better play call. you got to help your quarterback out a little bit because the throw has got to at least make it to the sticks. On that last play, you're basically trusting the guy to make a few dudes miss in order to go pick up that first down. I think you need to start being a bit more aggressive here when these third downs present themselves. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. Oh, and the attempt is no good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. 
bad miss by the kicker. 